f of x equals to x squared times square root of 5 minus x on a closed interval from negative 1 to 5, I would like to find the absolute minimum and maximum. So since there is a square root, let's talk about the domain of the given function. So for square root, we know that square root of negative is undefined. So therefore, the 5 minus x, the radicand, has to be greater than or equal to 0, right? You add x on both sides, you have 5 greater than or equal to x. So that means x must be less than or equal to 5. So that's the domain of the function. So that's why on the, the picture on the right, you see that from left to right, the graph stop at x equals to 5. Okay, and then the next step is we will have to find the first derivative set that equals to zero and then we will get the critical numbers. The reason of doing this is other than the two endpoints, we might have relative minimum and maximum. So if a point is a relative minimum, there is a chance that that point is also a absolute minimum. Okay, so let's find the derivative. And then for this derivative, we have a, what rule? We have a product rule, right? So product rule is fg prime plus g f prime. So this is product rule. Okay, so fg prime. So we have f, so that is x square. And then you take the negative, take the one half down and then five minus x to the negative one half. And then the derivative of negative x is equals to negative one. So this is a chain rule you have to take the derivative of the in inner piece, right? The phi minus x, this is a composition function. You have a linear function phi minus x inside a square root function. The derivative of the linear function is equals to negative one. And then a plus for product rule, and then g is square root of phi minus x, the derivative of f is equals to two x. And then you have f prime of x, so that is equals to negative, uh, negative x squared, right? Divided by two, times the square root of 5 minus x and then plus you have a 2x square root 5 minus x right and then you have to set that equals to 0 you have to set that equals to 0 and then uh, in order to solve for x I would need to get a common denominator so for the common denominator I need to multiply the top and bottom by 2x root 5 minus x 2x root 5 minus x okay and then moving on so that doesn't look like x to me. So let's make that look like x. Okay. So moving on, we now have what? So we have a negative x squared and then plus the top uh, two. Do we need two? Uh, okay, we can get a two. So two x times two x. So that is a four x squared. Actually, we do not need the two, right? So because there is a two, there is a two already. So we do not need the two. So the common denominator will be just a two. So this will be just a two and this is just a two. So we have a four X, four X. So we have a four X and then root five times root five, the square root is gone. Then we have a five minus X and then the bottom for both fractions. So now we have two times square root of five minus X. So we have that equals to zero. So when you have a top divided by bottom equals to zero, that means the numerator has to be equal to zero. So a quick review. So let's say you have A divided by B equals to zero. So we know two things. Number one, B cannot be equal to zero and A must be equal to zero, right? So let's say uh, what number divided by B is equals to zero. So the top has to be equal to zero. Okay, so now we set the top equals to zero. Then the top is negative X squared plus 20 X minus four X squared, right? Minus four X squared equals to zero, then we have a negative five x squared plus 20 equals to zero. And then we have um, oh, 20 x, then we factor our negative five, right? Factor our negative five, and then we have x, five x. So this is a x minus four equals to zero. So there are two critical numbers, x equals to four, and x equals to zero. So these two are the critical numbers. So they are critical numbers. And then don't forget that what, what's the do domain? The domain is x less than or equal to five, right? So both critical numbers, they are inside the domain. 
Okay, so now we got our critical numbers, and the next step is we will have to test the endpoint. So we have a uh, four zero and negative one five. Okay, so let me erase this. So I give myself some space, and then let's use another color to do the testing. So we will be testing, and then this is a X. So we have to test negative one, right? Negative one, zero, and four, and the last one is a five. And then we have to plug it into f of x. So what happened when x equals to zero? So we will have f of zero. So that is a zero square, and then five minus zero. So that is equals to zero. So this one we have a zero zero. When x is equals to four, we have a sixteen. X equals to five, we have a zero. When x is equals to one, so negative one, when you plug this into your calculator, you get something that is approximately two point forty five. So, uh, but the online system doesn't accept approximation, right? Then you also need to uh, give yourself the exact answer. Let, let's let's do, do that next. So where is the highest x? The highest x is uh, when x is equals to 4, right? So this is absolute maximum. And then what about the lowest x? The lowest x is at 0 and 5. Then, then you don't need to work for the 2.45. 2 and this is uh, absolute min and then absolute min. So when you report your answer to, to your online homework system, so this is a 5 comma 0 and then 4 comma 16 and then 0 0. So to deal with the approximation, you have to do the job by yourself. So f of negative 1, so that is a negative 1 square and then a 5 minus negative 1. So you have a 1 times square root of 6. So that gives you a root 6. So when you report that, you report negative 1 comma root 6. You cannot report a 2.45 because they they might not accept approximation. Uh, should we do one more? So we already did negative 1 to 5. Let's do negative 3 to 4, shall we? So let's switch to another color. Let's do negative 1 to 4. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, not crop. I'm going to copy. Okay, I'm going to paste that right over here. So the next thing that I would like to do is do a negative 3 comma 4. Okay, so we have uh, 4 and 0 that we will have to test a negative 3, right? The last one that we will have to test is 4 and then we will test the 0. So from negative 3 to 4, so this is a negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So when x is equals to... Oh, that is not negative 3. That is one spot off. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So when x equals to negative 3, it looks like the point went all the way up. And then 0, 0. And then 4, 16. So for negative 3, you have to do f of negative 3. So this is a negative 3 square. And then square root 5 minus negative 3. So this is a 9. And then you have a square root. This is the 8, right? And then 8 is equals to 2 times 4. So this is a 2 times 4. And then the square root of 4 is equals to 2. And then you have an 18. 18 root 2. And then the approximation is approximately 25.46. So when I do the comparison, I will just use 25.46. And then I know that this is the absolute max. And then the minimum is the zero, right? Zero, zero is the minimum. So this is absolute minimum. When I enter my answers to the online homework system, I will enter negative three, comma, and then 18 root two. I won't enter the approximation. And then this one is, of course, zero, zero. Okay, so that is the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful and clear, give me a like, share this video in any social media for me. If you are new to the channel, please take one to two seconds to click the subscribe button down below. Thank you for your help and support. I will see you all in the next video. Signing out.